Hi Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're doing great. Let's go ahead and pull some cards for you Aries and see what the week ahead looks like. Let's see what we have for the week ahead for Aries. The Eight of Pentacles. Working, dedicating yourself, learning, um, focused on earning money, focused on the little things. We have an Ace of Swords, new truth, new information, a victory of some kind. So underlying the energy is you are very motivated. Three of Wands, Aries energy with the Sun and Aries. So the Sun is in Leo right now, so you could be feeling the energy of Leo. You're very motivated. You're focused on success. You're very driven, very passionate. So we have here in the recent past a Three of Swords, some kind of painful communication. Seven of Pentacles is crowning. Something about someone who is trying to figure out what they've invested in a situation and what they're getting in return. Okay, so we have here the Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy could be a message of love you're receiving. It could just be happy, joyful, loving energy. Happy news, generally. What is Aries energy for the week ahead? Aries energy for the week ahead. Oh my gosh. So your energy is the sun. Posit oh, the world. Closure. Completions. You've achieved greatness in your life. You have achieved some something here. You've put in the time, the work, the effort. Okay, so you're given a new opportunity here, Ace of Coin. You're hoping for a Six of Pentacles. You're wanting something to balance out. It could be something where you are maybe even giving to charity. The Seven of Pentacles could be you've accumulated wealth or you've accumulated something and you're hoping to either level up or be charitable you're wanting to give so the final outcome is the death card something here is changing ending it could be about scorpio energy there is scorpio here um the death is a transformation of your circumstances the death in the world, something here is changing for the better with the ace of coin in your environment. Okay, strength card on the bottom, Leo energy, being strong, resilient. So I'm going to do some clarifiers. Okay, so what are we getting here for the three of wands for Aries? Hermit. You're lighting your own lamp. You're following your own wisdom. What is what else is the hermit in the three of wands? The world card. You've achieved great success in something. Okay, so let's grab the other deck. Okay, so what is coming in? You're going to be thinking about your accumulation of stuff, money, wealth, and how to get to the next level. You're working really hard. So what is the seven of pentacles about here? What is the seven of pentacles about? Oh my goodness, we got seven of pentacles. So it's where you've been charitable, you've been generous, you've given 
you've invested, and you're thinking about, well, what do I do now? Emperor is what came out with it. Power, authority, self-control, running an empire. Okay, so we have a page of water coming in. Somebody's delivering the good news to you, the happy news. It's very sweet and innocent. Okay, again, it's like this Ten of Wands. There's some kind of burden. There's more responsibility. And a King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and an Eight of Pentacles. Um, somebody could be looking at the details of a situation, trying to learn, trying to find out what you're all about. King of Coins, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay. So what is the world card here for the Aries? Okay, the world is the page of air. There is something here maybe about gossip or information that you're finding out. Seven of Pentacles that is linked to finances or investments. Earth sign energy. And we got this new information with the Ace of Swords. So there's closure or there's a completion. Around you is an ace of pentacles. Your environment has an ace of coin. So what is this ace of coin in the environment for Aries? Okay, I'm not a ten of cups. Long-term emotional commitments to a situation with a seven of air. Somebody who hides information. They hide. They conceal. But there is a long-term emotional situation here. There could be somebody who's kind of like the magician. They're trying to make a lot of other things happen. Someone's trying to um, manipulate, make something happen. They're hiding information though with the Ace of Coin. Again, with the strength card on the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to pull another card and see what is the death energy about? Why are we getting the death for Aries? What is the transformation? Strength card. Needing to be strong and resilient, patient, kind, and loving. We have the Hermit. We have the Seven of Cups again. Confusion. And the Queen of Wands, Aries energy, in control, taking back your power. What is changing? Six of Coin, being generous, kind, donating. Energy of Leo, what is the Three of Wands here? What is the Three of Wands? The world. It could be you're finished with waiting. Like you're just done with waiting. What is the world representing? Your energy is the world. That means you've learned all you need to know. About three of Swords. There's something about mental pain. Painful situations. You've learned enough. Okay. The world. And you're focused on the future. Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. You could be thinking about finances. The world and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's this King of Pentacles coming into the future. Okay. What? Let's see. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What is this King of Pentacles doing for Aries? Knight of Pentacles. So they come in with an offer. All right. Emperor's on the bottom. Aries in a powerful position. 
Page of Cups, somebody comes towards you with a sweet message. King of Air, blocking. Strength card, being strong. Okay. Why is Aries coming up as Emperor with the Seven of Pentacles? Okay. Some of you might be considering starting your own business with the star. You're investing in a new opportunity. It came out with the Nine of Pentacles. You're thinking about your situation. Empress, Venus, abundance. Um, you're wanting more for yourself. What is Three of Wands? King of Water. What is the King of Water doing here? Compassion, love, Emperor, Aries energy. Could be a father or a father figure in your life. What is the world in the Page of Swords? Seven of Pentacles again. Thinking about your finances. Thinking about how to level up. Feeling feeling shortchanged. It's like you feel like I've invested more than I'm getting. It could be your salary doesn't seem like enough. Big decisions are being made. What is the Seven of Pentacles? What is the Seven of Pentacles? Seven of Swords. Yeah, you feel like you're being gypped or something by a person around you. What is the magician? Somebody who plays mind games. Com a very competitive energy. Knight of Swords. They bring in information or truth or drama. Ace of Swords. You get this Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords? What is the Ace of Swords? What is the Ace of Swords? Three of Cups. Other people. Other people socializing. Other people getting together. What is the Queen of Wands then? You, you decide to go your own way. To light your own lamp. Queen of Wands and Hermit, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. There's an Ace of Cups here and a victory underneath. What is King of Pentacles doing? Six of Air coming back with communication. What is Seven of Cups? What is Seven of Cups? What is Seven of Cups? Okay. Confused. Maybe about a long-term emotional connection. What is Page of Cups? There's the confusion with the Page of Cups. So you get another offer, Page of Cups. You get another offer that's exciting. And it makes you start to consider your options and what to do. Like, do I really want to be in this situation, this job that I've been at? Or am I done here and I want to move on? Could be a relationship too. There's lots of kings in this reading. Be strong and courageous with the rhinoceros. Having rhino skin, being having thick skin. I don't think I want thick skin all the time. I want to be treated nicely. I don't want to be treated like where I always have to be resilient and withstand bad treatment. I don't want that in a job. Joan of Arc. I like this. The warrior of light. I have a steel-like faith in myself that angels armor me with conviction. This is what I meant. I said I'm a warrior of light in a video. And a couple of people went off the deep end with that. <laughs> And I was like, oh my goodness, why? Okay. But yeah, being a warrior of the light as opposed to the dark. You're wanting the positive light side of life. I have belief in myself and my own faith. Oh my goodness, we got the healer of the ages again. This is about something very monumental, big coming in your life a big change okay 
I'm going to leave this here for you, Aries, for your weekly read. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you, and take care.